Hello, this is Trevor. Today we're working on another lab in Port Swigger's Web Security Academy. This time it's under the DOM heading. It's DOM XSS using web messages. So the lab, we need to use the exploit server, post a message to the target site that executes the print function. Okay, sweet, let's check it out. Remember, it's in the DOM. Please remember to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know how I'm doing. It would, I would appreciate it. All right, this is interesting. It looks like that's going to be a good spot to check out. Let's actually view page source just to make it a little bit easier to look at. So uh, this is all the site stuff. Probably not gonna be up there. Here we go. So we have an ad event listener message. This is where it receives the message and then it's gonna execute this function passing in the data received from the message. It's gonna get the element by ID ads and dot in our HTML. So if you remember, this inner HTML is dangerous. It can be used for cross-site scripting. And it's posting the what we receive the data from that directly. So this is vulnerable here. And it looks like it's going to be written right here. Sweet. All right. So let's so we need to be able to post a message to this website and we can do that using iframes um, we do have an exploit server so let's open that up and we'll just test it out here so let's do iframe source equals and we will get this as our source and then we'll do an on load event equals this dot content window whoops sorry window dot post message and then here's where we want to write um, I'm gonna do this first let's do console dot log one and end script and this and tell it to send it anywhere there there okay let's view this see how we did it's a little annoying it's so short um, but notice how we don't should be right here we don't have it. Um, let's search for ads. Remember that was in there. Here we go. And there's our edit as HTML. There's our script console log and script. Notice how it didn't execute though. It's interesting. The reason it didn't execute is because we're writing it in JavaScript and it won't re-read it to execute the JavaScript. So we can't do that. Uh, but we can have HTML um, execute because that will read after document, uh, after we write it with the inner HTML. So we just need to pay, change our payload to something that uses HTML. So like, you know, our classic image source on error equals and I don't know if this is going to screw up if I do doubles quote let's leave it off um, on error console dot log one and we'll close the image tag so let's check this see if it works
Let's do inspect console. Ooh, we got an error. Where's our add? Div add. I don't see it here. Well, and we won't see it here. Um, let's see. Where did I mess up? Let's go back here. So, iframe source, this window post message, image source on error equals console log. Hmm. Wonder if we, if this is going to screw it up. Maybe if I go like this. Literal not terminated for the. Hmm. Okay. It's got to be right there. Onload equals source on error. Everything else looks fine, right? Yeah, so it's just this double quote that's messing up. Um, I can't do, I think I need to leave it. View exploit. Dang it. Show me where. So it doesn't show me where it erred and um, I want to view page source. This all looks good, right? Source console log, maybe Let's try removing this. Hey, woo, that got it. All right, so that ending thing was not required. Um, let's try making this just a little bit harder and I'm going to put back ticks to see if I can type in text. So this is the message. I don't know if this worked, but, you know, it's always better if I can have, nope, not terminating before end of script. It's got to be the pluses, or I mean the spaces. I'll bet you that's what it is. Yep, that's what it was. So the space is so, uh, we would have to do some tricky stuff to exploit this if we needed spaces. I don't know if that will work. It, we, it would, so that's, that's one way we could do it, but you know, if we needed. We could also just do like uh, document dot cookie. So I'm just trying to imagine if I was, you know, actually trying to exploit this, I would need to put something there. Cookie didn't work. Um, while this wouldn't, but yeah, so this wouldn't work, but I could... I might be able to host something. This works, document.domain. Anyway, uh, this is how we're gonna exploit this. So we're gonna write a script that posts this exploit. The only thing we're gonna change is uh, this, and we're gonna do, I think we need to do the print statement. And once we do that, this should be solved. So let's, let's do that. Uh, 
what is this called? I don't have any notes yet for this one, for these. Dom XSS using web messages. Then Dom XSS using web messages dot pi. Um, oh, and I don't have my CD. No, I want ln dash s did it utils did it. There we go. And if I go like that and go like that, remember this is a shop this time, not a blog. Change word shop. Change word shop. And do it here also. And then we need to write, we need a payload, and then we need, whoops, there. Should be in sight, right? Post exploit, that's what I want. Okay, so post, post exploit, and we will post it to the response body. So shop.post exploit response body equal equals payload we'll write that out payload equals blah blah and then that should be it show shop dot is salt perfect uh, our payload let's see if we can copy it there we go All right, we have a bunch of double quotes and single quotes. So I'm gonna start escaping the doubles. Onload. Sweet. Now I want to change this one to be to use the domain receive so uh, blah or uh, shop dot base URL source on error and then this will be what we really want which is print and why do we have it oh we probably have a red because it's because of the size so we can fix that. Let's do uh, parenthesis, open parenthesis right there. We'll put this starting on a new line and then we'll find a spot to close, I guess here. Again, I am not the best at this, but whatever. That works and it's not too long so we don't get the error. Um, request is unused. That's the only thing we have left. Okay, sweet. So uh, let's solve this mother uh, DOM XSS and we need the URL. Paste. Send it. Uh-oh. Dang. Got that. I bet you this has to be freaking URL encoded. Because if you imagine, we're bypassing the form and... Oh, no. I need an F here for one. Let's try it again with the F. And then if that doesn't work, we'll URL encode it. Huh, that was it. Lab is solved. Sweet. Let's get our banner. Come on, show it. 
Yeah. All right. And um, this was fairly straightforward. All we did was we saw in this script, they used uh, the message event and included untrusted data right here in an inner HTML call that excuse me, wrote that data directly to this uh, tag here. Because of that, because of that uh, sync and the message being, or the web messages being the source, we were able to write untrusted data in here, which included our JavaScript or our HTML that executed JavaScript to get us the print Sweet. So that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely let, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Goodbye.